Uh, hey, are we, Pastor, we are on time. I have no conception. Sounds good to me. Oh, shit, let's roll. Richie, I'm here. Come on. Uh, we're going to bring it open and come on forward. Yeah. 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 Somebody's searching my phone. Why? I can Perspective. Weird thing where people would just be like, "Hey, you, right there, come over here," and then they would they would just like give you a giant plate of food. And I was like, "This is a crazy place." <laughs> and so I was walking, talking with my friend Danny Ducap at two in the morning in my first audio feed. And uh, this guy had been in the Azusa revival, and he came out and wanted to pray for us to get tongues. And I was like, "Sure, I don't have to do anything." And uh, yeah, so uh, he, he gathered us and then the, the, our friend Kevin walked by and we're like, hey, Kevin, you want to pray? Because I was like, that's what you do, right? Um, and then this stranger walked past and I was like, hey, you, like, do you, do you want to pray? And so the stranger walks up uh, and they got praise and we don't get tongues, but we do get Richie. And that was good. Richie is the one who had to have his whole life just kind of go to shit all at once and a big movie explosion. And uh, he was like, I'm going to drive 13 hours to this thing I don't know anything about. And Sam Reese, my favorite band, and that Christian was doing something. And and, and he was just there. And he was like, I don't know anybody. And I was like, cool. Like, me and Kevin know some people. Like, if you want to be our friend, you can. You don't have to. Um, And then ever since Richie, he's just been a part of my life. It's been seven years, almost to the day. And uh, I don't remember a bit of it. It feels like yesterday. And Richie slept on my floor the night before my wedding. And yeah, it's just like a part of my life. And, uh, it's really beautiful. I don't. I'm so uh, overwhelmed, and don't one of you fucks try to encourage me. I appreciate it so much, but don't fucking do it. Um, I am so consumed with the weight of my inadequacy, and I have three years of not touring to just sit around and stare at the wall and be like, "Damn, I'm not enough." And there is something really beautiful about it because the Bible says that when you're weak, God's strength is made complete. And I think that I've really been rejoicing and like, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just not enough. Like, I'm not going to be enough. And then it's been so powerful because I think that's when I actually get to see God move. And rather than it being the Chris show, it's the God show. And I get to witness the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Like, a stranger is part of my life. Yep. And that's so special. Um, and then I'm just really glad to show up. You just kind of fucking show up. And then God does crazy shit. And you're not really in control. It's just not about you anyway. And that's really uncomfortable, and I don't like it. And I, I grew up playing sports, and I just want to witness fucking things so bad. Um, but I can't. But I can just keep showing up. I'm really glad you showed up. I hope you'll show up again if you feel like you should. And I hope you'll just yeah, realize that you don't really need to have it all. You can just kind of be like, hey, I'm here. Because uh, sometimes you know, get to be really good friends and tour together and sleep under each other's tables and eat bagel bites. And it's uh, it's what so life's all out. about right uh, there. Richie, let me yeah, write, yeah. write a verse for this song. Uh, it's killing my pride. I'm going to need to read it. Um, yeah, uh, Christian wants read things, so the best of us read. We can all read. <laughs> um, it's all about perspective. This song is, uh, this song is this song's called Healing. And, uh, oh man, it's gone. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> wow, that. All right, let's get it. Southfield seems to split in two past Pelham like skin down both sides of a blade. Like a marriage, like a friendship, like my community. The bridge support forcing cars left to right, the way pain seems to require a response. In traffic at 40 miles per hour, I used to miss that it's just a one-way road, reuniting as soon as it splits. A river passing around a boulder. The false choice hurt offers us. Bury or burn, both forgetting more of the catalyst. Hurt greets hurt and leads us to more. I buried it, sewn my wounds shut on my own. Premature, still bloody and full of debris. 
believing burial, acquainted to forgiveness. I've gritted my teeth and forced the skin closed like a fist. Push the pain back in my whitewashed holiness. A fine enough needle, but the flesh always festered beneath. Starved of air and churning upon itself. The thread never held. I refused to admit the pain and denied. I had a mat to pick up when Jesus bade me to walk. I've sat in the decay and called it clean. But denial never fixed the damage. And wholeness was not something I could will upon myself. Shut the torch into the hurt too. Determined to wield it as a flame and burn down everything that caused it. Retaliate my way to restoration. Crucify my way to freedom. If I could just set the right person ablaze, tie them to the stake, throw them on the pyre of pain, I could salve the wounds, ease and end the suffering. But burning the world because it burned me has never once set me free. Harm rests on a scale that can't be balanced by human hands. I refuse to put the flame down, unwilling to part with what I was certain made me righteous, but suffering is not righteousness. Harm is nothing with which you can build a home. Suffering is a step in the process. Pain, a part of the path, but neither is a foundation for anything but collapse. coming in every shade and it still does sometimes I see new colors I bet you do too I've watched my friends tear each other apart vicious and terrible and terrified some sort of post-apocalyptic revelation painting from a tormented master bodies broken and bending and breaking in horrifying impossible shapes eyes melted towards heaven in desperation I've watched myself join in too willingly and unwillingly complicit in so much of the evil that rends my soul. I've watched my loves bury their wounds only to find parts of themselves collapsing into the sinkholes beneath when they had heart, the hurt had hollowed them out. I've watched so many rush to crucify their oppressors, rush to tear them apart, rush to only find themselves so deep in the carnage they become what they sought to destroy. I know it hurts. The canyons and craters you bear split deeper by the minute. They drill into your bones. They rage in every direction. They threaten to consume you, despair and heartbreak, ache, cold and deafening and seem endless like Superior in December. The lake gapes like a black hole, like the pupils of death itself. But I promise you, there is land on the other side and God walks on water. It's counter to everything you feel, everything you've been taught, everything that seems justified, everything you know. But to find life, you must lose it. If you bury your hurt, it will rot you. Lay down your shovel. If you try to wield it, the blaze will consume everything around you, including yourself. Extinguish the torch. Open your hands and lay all of it bare before the Father. The hurt, the pain, the betrayal, the failure, the loathing, the anguish. Still as a cast, silent as a splint, lay yourself open on the altar, willful in your patience. Make your heart known and wait. Healing is not obtained but received. It comes in stillness. Lay yourself down. Leave the wounds open. Let the Father have them. Let him see them. Let his love cleanse them. Let him pour himself out upon you. His healing, pulling the flesh gently back together in its time. 
stay still. If you move before you heal, you will only break again. I know it hurts. It burns burns against everything you know and all in you begs to address the pain. But you'll destroy yourself if you do, so stay still. Leave your wounds open. Let God's healing come like the rain. Let it fill you. Stay still. You will be whole again. You will be whole again. A promise, sure is the rain, sure is the pain, sure is gravity, and sure is still guaranteed by the suffering servant when he gave his own life up. Sure is the resurrection, sure as the hand extended, sure as the love given, sure is the love from which you cannot be separated. Give yourself up, keep the wounds open. I know it hurts, he will heal you. Stay still, you will be whole again. Woo!